what value are you absolutely committed to? Like radically committed to? This is a very valuable question to ask yourself because it really tells you what you're living for. When you can see what it is that you are radically committed to, you know this is something that you stand for. Now, there's, there are many things we are radically committed to which are not values. They are things that we want. Very often, we're radically committed to making a lot of money. We're radically committed to uh, going on vacation twice a year. Um, you know, all the different types of things that serve us. But what is a value that you value so much that you are so radically committed to it that you will do things that will make you uncomfortable, that may cost you money, that may um, have you make people who are near and dear to you uncomfortable for the sake of this value. That's how we know when something is very very dear to us and we are radically committed to it. And I would say that uh, in, for me, and I believe this is true for any decent person, the things that, and the people that inspire us more than anyone else are people who are radically committed to a beautiful value. And when we watch them, when we observe them, when we see that they are willing to give up all of those things that we want in life for the value that they are radically committed to. We're deeply inspired by that. And that's because deep down within every single one of us, there is that desire to be this person, to be the person who has certain values and to stand for those values, even when it gets difficult. And this is really one way that I would sum up what the holiday of Shavuos is all about. The day that God gave us the Torah for this year would be the 3,336th anniversary of God giving us the Torah at Mount Sinai. God chose the Jewish people. What does that mean? He chose us. But are we special? Well, we are distinct that's clear because when you're chosen for a special role, you're distinct. And God chose us with the distinct role of being a people that will radically stand for values above our own personal interests. That is what the Jewish people are about. And those values are laid out in what God has given us, the Torah. And that is the reason why it is so meaningful to so many people to study the Torah, learn these values, and be committed to them in, in a very strong way, sometimes in a way that other people get disturbed by because they don't even relate to the whole idea of being radically committed to a value. And they don't, and, and they've never maybe even experienced the richness and the beauty and the meaning in living a life which is above my own self-interest, but in the interest of the entire purpose that the world was created for. And so that's why I would encourage, I do encourage you and myself and any single Jew to connect to the values God has given us more deeply. And that would be, one way of doing that actually would be by being radically committed to the study of Torah. You know, one of the things that the Rebbe encouraged many people to do is to have a fixed uh, daily study of Torah. And he said that, that, that the fixed aspect of it, you know, which means that you have it steady every day. Um, it, it's very important to have it fixed. It's very helpful to almost, to, to most people to have a fixed time. So it becomes a routine and a fixed study of what it is that you are studying. The, all of these things just make it easier to have that commitment. But he said, you know what's most important to have fixed? That the, that the commitment is fixed in your soul. That means that it's non-negotiable. That every single day I am going to study this little segment. It can be one verse in the Torah. Every single day. And you learn another verse every single day. Right? It can be a daily study of 10 minutes. Right? But the main thing is that in your heart, 
nothing stops me. Like I take a shower every day, I have my coffee in the morning, and I do this study. And then we, and then, so that, that itself is a radical commitment because it's fixed in my soul. It comes from a very deep place. It's not negotiable. It may be a day that, you know, I have a, I'm away, I'm relaxing today, I'm on vacation. Uh, it's a day that is very busy. It's the, it's the marriage of my child. No excuses, radically committed. Radically committed. It's very, very powerful. You'll inspire yourself. And then you'll also be learning about many more values, understanding them more deeply, beginning to appreciate them, perhaps many values that maybe you haven't appreciated in the past, and then becoming radically committed to those. And what you'll see that will evolve from all of that is a magnificent person that is a source of inspiration to others. I, 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 to me, the most inspiring thing about other people is when they are living a life which is radically committed to a value or to a set of values. In fact, we, we uh, just lost a very, very special rabbi in the Chabad world, Rabbi Moshe Kaplarsky. I didn't know him very personally. I knew him. Um, he knew me. Um, and one thing I can say, if I'd have to sum up his life, is he was radically, he was like super radically committed to the mission of the Rebbe. And he demonstrated that by his unbelievable uh, sacrifice on, on multiple levels and his focus uh, to do things that very few people would actually do. Commitment, radically committed. That's the holiday of Shuas, radically committed. That's the reason why God chose the Jewish people to be a, so he would have a group of people who will be radically committed to the values that God created this world upon. Take on this mission. It's, it makes all the difference. And more than anything else, I always love saying this, the greatest beneficiary is going to be you.